Hi, my name is Jess from the Potomac Beat Company and today I'm going to show you how to use the Kumihimo disc to make your braided Kumihimo. I'm using a rat tail and the Kumihimo disc. First, cut four pieces of rat tail and you're going to make a top knot so that way there's a loop. Place the loop down through the hole in the Kumihimo disc and then put two strands on either side of the dots. So I'm going to have my whites at the top and bottom and I'm going to have my black cord on either side. Okay. So to start this, you have to remember that you're going to be working in a circle and you have to change the disc in the same direction every time you make a move. And I'll show you how to do that. You're going to take the bottom left string and take it to the top left. Then take the top right string to the bottom right and then rotate. Bottom left to top left. Top left, I mean top right to bottom right. Rotate. Bottom left, top left, top right, bottom right. And you're just going to continue in this pattern. You have to make sure you rotate in the same direction. If not, what's going to happen is your braid's going to switch directions halfway through and you'll get a weird lump. If you have difficulties with your tails knotting up, they make these great bob bobbins that you can wind everything in. And if you have trouble like getting the um, piece to pull down, you can actually put a weight here. Either a bag of quarters or like a fishing sinker, just to keep everything nice and together. And that is how you do a braided kumihimo. See, I've been working on the braided kumihimo. I used about two feet of each color, so four feet of the black folded in half. And you can see that I have a nice spiral pattern here. Depending on how you have your strings lined up on your kumihimo disc depends on how the pattern ends. So say I had a black here and a white here, I would get a checkerboard pattern. There's lots of different patterns that you can do. If you're interested in that, you can also go to the kumihimo website to see the different patterns that you can do. So next I'm going to show you how to finish the ends.